Setu Bandhasana in the Ashtanga Yoga practice. So from downward dog. Sapta. Ashta. Prepare for the pose. Now uh, up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Desha, down. <laughs> Yekadesha, Chakrasana. Devadesha, up dog. Kayodesha, downward facing dog. So let's break it down. Come into a lying down position. <clears throat> this pose is pretty intense on the neck. Again, please, please, please just avoid it altogether, especially if you're new to yoga in general. Unless you've been practicing for a while, then feel free to approach it, but break it down and work your way towards it. So once you come to a lying down position, hop, you're gonna bring your legs, heels touching, and outer edges of the feet down. So almost like Charlie Chaplin, hop like this. Heels are touching and the outer edge of the feet is down on the ground. I highly suggest if you don't really have a really deep back bend and if you're pretty tall like I am, do not bring your legs too close in because that will put it really, really intense to actually come up. So give yourself a little bit of space. Don't squeeze the heels too far in, rather, and that as well is based on the length of your legs and your entire body. So heels touching, outer edges of the feet down, Charlie Chaplin style. From here, you're gonna use your elbows at the beginning to lift the chest up. So from lying down, lift the sternum and the heart up and try to bring the crown of the head down to the ground. Maybe this is where you stay for a while. You just stay here and work your way here. If this gets comfortable, maybe place right hand, palm is touching the left shoulder, shoulder left palm will touch the right shoulder and just hold it here. So that will be stage one. Again, if it's too much on the neck, just push the elbows down, lift the chest up, and let the head hang back. As that gets easier, walk the elbows a little bit further, let the head descend, maybe further out, till the crown of the head releases down to the ground. Maybe do the arm cross. If you don't feel safe, just keep your hands along the side body to give you a little bit more stability. And keep pressing with the outer edges of the feet down into the earth. So again, Heels touching, outer edges of the feet like this, down on the ground. Then from this part, you're gonna lift the chest and the sternum up, bringing the crown of the head down on the ground. If this is comfortable, maybe you cross the right hand, and then you cross the left, and if that gets easy, slowly from here, you're gonna float it up. Now, again, another way to work this, if you don't feel pretty safe to take both hands away, but you wanna play with lifting the hips off the ground, lift the chest and the sternum up, bring the crown of the head down, keep your hands here, and then practice with lifting. Hop a little bit, hop a little bit. Just so you get used to actually having the weight on the neck and how much you have to actually work in order to be able to do the full position. But again, be really gentle with it and approach it gently, step at a time. Thank you.